An issue every Kansas City mayor is asked about, even though the mayor has no direct authority over the district. Chris Hernandez has more on how the mayor's involvement could carry some political risk. Kansas City Mayor Sly James is putting his political capital on the line with the bold move to oversee the school district. Tonight, I asked a local political figure to assess the risk to the mayor's political future. Jason Grill looks over details of the mayor's plan to take over KCMO schools. The former state rep supported James' opponent, but likes this move. You know, I think it's great. I think it's someone that's willing to take a risk and not just thinking about the next election because he wants to do what's right for the city. There is a risk, and Mayor James is aware it could hurt his chance to win a second term. In the letter he released today, James says voters will use the performance of the school district as a factor in determining whether or not the mayor should remain in office. In the next three years, I, I, I would hope that it would improve uh, with Sly leading the charge. Uh, but if it doesn't, yeah, I mean, the voters are going to hold him accountable. But James has been in office seven months. Grill says fixing the schools would help the mayor's other priorities, but also use up a lot of his political capital. He'll spend a lot because it's a very controversial issue, but I think at the end of the day, all of his other proposals with economic development, with, with cleaning the streets up, with crime, obviously have a lot to do with the school issue. A mayor leading a school district isn't that rare. In Cleveland, the mayor appoints the school board members and the school district CEO. That started 13 years ago. A recent analysis reported more stability, but the district's still one of the lowest performing in the state of Ohio. Now, Grill says if this gamble does work, James would be seen as a savior. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.